This is Jack from Buck Talk. What I have for you today is a question about Roth IRAs and investment returns. But first, I may be a financial advisor, but I'm not your financial advisor. This video is for entertainment, not advice. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see tomorrow's video. All right, let's take a look at today's question. Am I doing my Roth IRA correctly? Okay. 25 years old, new to investing in savings. Beginning of 2022, decided you wanted to make a solid effort to get your money working for you, open up a Roth IRA through Vanguard, very nice. Had a lot of money sitting in savings. So you put 12K into the Roth IRA. So you made your 2022 and 2021 contributions. And then a couple months ago, three months ago, you put in another 6,500. Right now, it's all fully invested in a target date 2060 fund. It's 2023, 2060. Yeah, that's probably real reasonable. Now, you know these accounts are all about the long game, but you're feeling bad because you're down from 18.5 to 18.3. And if you just left it in your savings account, you'd have uh, some interest. You'd be higher than 18.5. Yep, yep. Uh, you thought about it because you're reading something that said you get 10% average annual gains when you invest in a Roth IRA account. Well, let's pause there for a second. So I don't think anyone serious projects 10% of your returns, regardless of which parts of the stock market you're in. That's a real aggressive thing. It has happened over different time periods in the past, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen going forward. So 10% is a high number. Uh, I think most places you look, you might use a number like, six, seven, maybe 8%. All right, so not a huge difference, but over your lifetime, that'd be quite a big difference. So um, meanwhile, your account is down 3%. All right, so you've been an investor for the, the long, long time of what sounds to be about 18 months. And the whole reason that you can get returns in the stock market are because there will be long periods of time, longer than 18 months, where the market is not up. Another way of saying not up is saying down. If the market only returned 10% a year and, and every 18 months you knew you'd have more than if you'd put it in a savings account, well, then the market would be a lot higher than it is today because it would be such a good deal. And then those expected returns would come down. So it's part, part of playing the game is the fact that if you're invested, you could be down for long periods of time. And I encourage you to go back and, and check how long the S&P 500 takes uh, after it goes down before getting back to previous highs. I think you'll find that in many cases, it takes four, five, six years to get back to highs. Now, normally it is short. Normally it bounces back quickly. And I think a lot of people whose first introduction to the stock market was 2020, when it went way down in February and March, and it was back by, I think by June. I think that gave a false sense of, oh, you only got to ride it out for two or three months. Uh, but that's not going to be the case a lot of the time. So uh, you're not doing anything wrong. This is part of the deal. I'd say make sure you understand it. Make sure you can withstand the market might not go back up to where it was for years. Uh, just because things are looking pretty good right now doesn't mean it has to bounce back. So make sure that's all right with you. Good luck.